My name is Michael Porter. Um, I'm from Columbia, Missouri. Class 2017, and um, I get buckets. Watch and listen. One day, these facts may save your life. Me, I'm just a, just a, um, I'm a family guy, love my family, um, there's eight of us, and uh, we all, we're, we're a basketball family, um, we all get along really well. Um, Christian family, we take our faith real seriously, and um, I really just hoop. My family, uh, my dad played in college at the University of New Orleans, my mom played at uh, Iowa. I got four younger brothers actually that hoop. One of them is really well known, Jonte Porter. Um, but the other ones are on the come up. They're a little younger, young dudes, but they're they're getting better and better. So ever since I was three years old, my dad took me out in the backyard and we just started hooping at a young age. Um, we put the ball in my hands. We did a lot of ball handling, shooting. Um, so I just got real comfortable with the ball in my hand, and that might be part of the reason why I'm at this Steph camp with all guards. In the school year, usually I would get up before school, um, go to school and uh, not really work out, just get up a ton of shots on the gun, and then um, go, go through school, then probably have practice afterwards, go home, do some homework, and then try to get back in the gym later that night. So um, I'll be in the gym three times a day. Right now, I'm really focusing on my ball handling. I think this um, Steph camp is real good for me. Um, getting my handles tighter and just get, being in the weight room, getting a lot stronger. And then I'm creating space off the dribble and decision making. That's a lot of stuff I'm working on. I mean, when you when you a top player in the country, sometimes you can tend to get content, but um, my dad really pushes me to keep me humble and keep me hungry. Uh, I, could, I could lose my spot um, in, at any time if I just quit working. So I know I'm not where I want to be, which is, in the, which is in the NBA one day. And um, I just got to keep working, man. I saw doubt in his eyes. I can't go with him if he's scared. What about the wind? Oh, I say he might be quarter. Might yeah. be quarter. The kid is good. The kid is good. Right? Kid, he's the gun. Doesn't do anything wrong. High basketball IQ. He plays above the rim. Gets an open spot.
<laughs> yeah, Steph was Steph was working out with us the whole the whole time, and it was real cool getting to learn from the, the best player in the world, in my opinion. He taught us how to create space. He taught us um, quick release. He taught us to stay low. He taught us all that stuff, so I learned a lot from him. Yeah, we got a lot of great talent here, um, you know, great coaches. And the mix between the, the younger guys and the older guys is kind of the dynamic that makes the camp what it is and how special it is. Because you know they, they're passing on their wisdom as as, as, as players and competitors. Uh, you know we're giving them some tools to hopefully make them better players, and we're all having fun. So that's that's the biggest thing. Basketball is a platform. Um, I want to be able to reach as many people as I can and influence a lot of people in my life. And I feel like um, playing for God and playing for His will, I'll be able to reach a lot of people. Um, so really, I'm just trying to get as good as I can for Him because He's given me a lot and I want to give Him a lot back. The Elite 24, man, it was a great experience. One of my favorite camps. I don't know if you want to call it a camp or an all-star game, whatever. One of my favorite events. Um, and I'm looking forward to it this year. Man, I told this dude before the game that we're gonna win. He ain't never beat me in his life. Things I've done to get to the level of where I am today, really just, I mean, just being consistent and keep working, never be content.